How long does it take to build a custom CMS? One where you can crop your images and create unique variations. A CMS that comes with essential user role management already built in. Form input fields that accommodate any input. A CMS that uses the PHP codebase Laravel, currently powering more than 400,000 websites worldwide. To get a better idea of what's possible with Twill, I want to give you a quick taste of the final site. It's a food blog and I've added a few posts. Our grilled cheese is the headline post for the day. Next we have two posts that are featured content. And lastly, three recent favorites. These are all ordered by publish date with the latest in the first position. I'm going to click into some of these to give you an idea of the front end. At the bottom of each page, we have clickable tags for navigation. As I make my browser more narrow and emulate how this responsive page might look on a tablet or smartphone, you'll notice that the image crops also change. That's part of Twill's media cropping options. I define presets to be used with desktop, tablet, and smartphone. The last thing I want to mention about this beautiful page is the design is a free theme from wowthemes.net. I took their static HTML version of this layout and converted the sections into blade templates, as you would with any Laravel project. I'm starting with a plain Laravel installation and I've installed the package for Twill. To see how to do this, please watch the video Simple Setup linked in the notes below. That will walk you through everything you need to start at this point. I'll be mentioning a few things during this video, but for the most part, I'm setting up a CMS for a blog about recipes. It's meant for Laravel developers already familiar with Laravel's code base and the MVC structure. So how long does it take? It takes seven minutes. Okay, start the clock. So the first thing I want to do is use the twill command line to generate a module called recipe. That'll create all the boilerplate code I'm going to need for my admin. I'll copy this navigation code and put that into the config twill navigation file so I'll have access on the menu, the main admin menu. I'm now going to set the admin routes. And now fill in the migration. I generally don't migrate until I'm done with all my backend forms in case there's a field I want to add. Next, I want to set my fillable fields on the model. I plan to use tags, so I want to make a reference to the handle tags behavior on the recipe repository. And really, besides including a form, that's all you need to do. And now on to the form. We're going to use some twill form fields to set up the kind of inputs we need for our different types of content. And here is the form field for tags that I mentioned earlier.
In the show notes below, I'll have a link to the form fields documents on the Twill website. Definitely worth checking out because you can see all the different types you can use. It's really handy. I generally copy the larger, more complicated ones and then adapt as needed. This is a great WYSIWYG input field that you can configure for having different buttons and options. For instance, I like to include a clean button that will take formatting out of any text that's pasted into the field when creating a post. This is the form field we use when selecting images and creating different crops. Back on our model, we define the different crop options. Okay, I like the fields I have, and I don't think I need any others, so I'm now going to run my migration. Let's test by adding a recipe and make sure everything's working. I have a separate file I'm using that I'll be copying content from to paste into the fields. And here's a nice example to see how the media field works. I'm going to drag an image into the media library, select it, and then choose it to put in the post by clicking Insert Image. And then I'll hit Crop. And you can see some of our predefined crop options. Homepage feature, so if it appears on the homepage, or article feature, it would appear at the top. And then this crop for tablet and of course this crop for smartphone. We'll set the publication date in the past and set it live. And there you have it, a functional CMS in seven minutes. Twill makes building and experimenting very, very easy. And I hope this demonstration sparks some ideas for you. Thank you for watching.